Today I'm going to be talking about 6-4 chords. There are three types of 6-4 chords, passing 6-4, pedal 6-4, and cadential 6-4. Today I'm only going to be talking about the cadential 6-4. Cadential 6-4 chords are unique because they possess all of the pitches of a tonic chord, but they function as a dominant. So it usually, the progression will, will follow a tonic, predominant, dominant, tonic motion. The cadential 6-4 acts as the dominant. So you'll have a cadential 6-4, a 5, or a 5-7, moving to a 1. Uh, they are also called 1-6-4 chords, and they only occur on strong beats. Now, talking about voice leading, if you're going to resolve your cadential 6-4 down to a 5 chord, you will resolve Do down to T and Mi or Me down to Re, and So will stay the same. You always want to double So. Uh, so will be in the bass, and then you'll have it in another voice as well. If you're going to a 5-7 chord, Do and Mi will resolve the same as before, but the doubled So will resolve down to Fa, which is the 7th of the 5 chord. There are three ways that you can write a cadential 6-4 chord when analyzing. That's a cad 6-4, 1-6-4, and 5-6-4 five, to 5-3. Five, the cad 6-4 is not very common. You don't see it very often. The 1-6-4 is the most common one you'll see. And then the 5-6-4 to 5-3, uh, you can write it that way because it shows the function of the chord. So you have so in the bass. That shows that it is functioning as a dominant, and then it's also showing the intervals above the bass being the 6 and the 4. And that's all I have for cadential 6-4 chords.